three scores and ten a criminological analysis. Sounds like a biblical approach. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you know, three scores and ten means seventy. That's right. So life after that. So the people who were interviewed were between the ages of seventy-eight to a hundred and four. Now, one of the reasons that led me to do this research is because I saw that where there are gaps, where the the elderly not enough attention being paid to them sometimes they complain about there isn't any counseling policy for their retirement um they complain about even though there are significant improvements in the health system both private and public they complain about the communication with them by healthcare providers and that the physiological changes that they go through they need to understand it more and and um when you look at the whole scope of chronic illnesses, and of course, not many, not every elderly person has chronic illness, but as you get older, you're, you become susceptible. But when you look at chronic illnesses, one sometimes tend to ignore the association between chronic illness and sexual and reproductive health. People don't want to talk about sex after you pass 25. Oh, right? really? <laughs> Okay, now I know. <laughs> yeah, so um, these persons talk about, so so in essence, the the, um, the the paper is built on certain platforms okay. like the physiological, the psychological, the physical, sorry, the social, the educational, and the individual. The individual being the center. Nothing can exist without the individual. Yes. Right? So the phenomenological aspect, I mean, it sounds like a big word, but in a nutshell, what it means is your shared experience and how those What's that experience. word? What, what the phenomenological? The phenomenological. Phenomenological, yes. A, it sounds one of those PH words. <laughs> yes, yes, PH. Yes. That's yes. Right. Like phone, you know. Yes. That's, that's an F sound. <laughs> that's <laughs> correct. Okay. Right. So it's your shared experience and how um, you interpret that experience to be. And, and how you add meaning to that experience. Far from death, what yeah. is the greatest fear that persons or three scores and 10 suffer from? Paralysis. They're afraid to be paralyzed. Yes. They can't help themselves. Can't help have themselves. Have to depend on other people. Absolutely. Yes, you always hear our parents say, boy, you know, me have to come and depend on people who rather go home. Yes. 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 yes, yes, yes. What about the issue of, um, I've always thought that the issue of um, retirement and pension that they're financially scared some persons still work ah. yes some persons of this study still work um, there were those who were not working but they had support um, but an, a concern which they had were their, their dependent children and grandchildren and the lack of trust regarding their money one of them said that you know I have to open my eyes old people are slow and so you know you have to be careful of your own even robbing you the matter of social exclusion was also another issue there are those who so what's the term i think i understand it but i yeah. want to be sure the classroom does okay so some of them were married to like very important icons in society okay. and with invitations then when those icons were alive like husband icon wife icon they would be invited to very sophisticated places the moment that those persons die yes. the wives or the husband who left behind doesn't get that invitation anymore so it's a kind of feeling excluded from right there was also the fair and rawlings even talk about it which, which that's joan rawlings in her work even spoke about this which i'm going to tell you now which was also something that came out of my findings um the fear of having a sexual partner who may be less than the husband who passed away <laughs> yeah less than in terms of abuse he may be abusive he may want to take what i have and so on but there were those who, uh, who, who exercise quite a bit and they said that it, it makes them feel more attractive, even those who did not want any partner. They, they, they spoke about the Jamaica move by the Honorable Minister of Health, Dr. Christopher Tufton, and they said that they have seen where it made a difference in their lives. Their blood sugar was more controlled, hypertension was more controlled, and so it encouraged them to, you know, one, one of them said that even in sexual intercourse, she think that she was performing at this age much better than when she was younger. Whoa, and so, um, that, so people <laughs> over 70 have sex? Of course. Okay, just of course, checking. Of course, quite agile. You'd be surprised. <laughs> 
<laughs> just just checking. Um, tell me, the, you you mentioned that uh, their sexuality or chronic illness, sexuality and way of life are inextricably linked in yeah. the realization of ID, the personal and social progress. What do you mean by that? Okay, so for the, for example, those with um, diabetes mellitus and hypertension may um, face dryness in the vagina, painful mm -hmm. sex, mm -hmm. um, um, orgasm not not readily come forth, as yes. you know, and that can be a little tormenting or yes. dissatisfying. For the men, he may face um, erectile dysfunction. You know, so those are the, the things that they um Okay, so um enhancers um prescribe like um the blue tablet and the <laughs> the, the Cialis and the what's the blue one name? Um, <laughs> <laughs> you mean the um I don't remember the name. I'll have to ask a gentleman across here in the yellow yes. shirt. Yeah, yeah. The Viagra. Viagra, yes. yes. <laughs> well, that wasn't a part of my study. No, that, was, not. <laughs> that wasn't the question I asked. However, I must tell you that the, the people of the, those of the higher echelon of society were more vocal about sex. Those mm -hmm. of the lower echelon wasn't so vocal. And the men said that nothing was going on for them in that department. Those were the exact words. Nothing going on. And the men were few, of course. Yes, yes. But um, And there were women too who were not engaging yes. tell me yeah. your study took in what socioeconomic group okay so upper class middle class and lower class